in my office I have my great-grandfather's note from medicine classes in 1878. They were going to give them to a medical library in Barcelona, so I thought, well, I'll, I'll keep some for myself. There it is. So that's my great-grandfather and where he worked. What's it like to have these in your collection? It's a good reminder of how much we've improved, how much medicine has progressed. I think the textbooks has changed faster in cancer in the last 10, 15 years than in all of the centuries before. When I started treating patients with melanoma, maybe one in 20 responded to a treatment. I'm talking about melanomas that have spread to the body, that have metastasized to other organs. Nobody in their right mind wanted to be specialist on this. It was the worst of the worst cancers. It was really hard to see one after the other after the other, not do well and know that we had nothing to do. So we're only doing two hours? Yeah. Tony, this is the only time I've ever seen you laying down. <laughs> Not for long. I'm donating white cells for, uh, for research. From there we take immune cells, and uh, those immune cells can be used in the lab to test how the immune system is going to attack cancer. And why do you think this is important? Um, well, I want to contribute to research, so I'm donating white cells. <laughs> But the science advanced. We've developed target therapies and immunotherapies that are now changing the course of the disease. And now, probably up to half of my clinic are patients who are coming back with the cancer being smaller than when we started. Some of them going years with improvement. I have trouble saying cured, but I'm sure several of them are cured. First time I met Jim James was in a regular clinic visit. He started getting the treatment, and from the beginning, he's been responding. It's gone from a cancer that had weeks to month life expectancy to a cancer where if we look at other patients that had this course, can be alive for years and we're going on some patients 20 years and continue. We're making a lot of progress. We're treating better cancer now than we did five years ago, than we did 10 years ago or 20 years ago. The rates of cancer deaths are going down and they've gone down sharply in the last five years. But that is obviously not enough. What happens with the rest? Knowledge brought us so far and we should continue to improve.